the presentation will be we talk about the Stonefly products a little bit, and then uh, virtualization environment, VMware, and then at the end we will get it to an actual live demo. So this slide shows the four IP SAN appliances, four families of IP SAN appliances that we have. The first one at the top uh, is called Integrated Storage Concentrator, and the other three, the, the main difference between the top, uh, ISC, and the other three are this uh, line that you see down here. These three are fully redundant active active storage, but ISC is not. And uh, the other differences are the number of drives that each one supports. Uh, if we go, ISC goes 108, and our biggest uh, appliance goes up to 448 drives. They all, they all do support different type of drives, SAS, SATA, SSD. They all do support multiple 1 gig or 10 gig, support, uh, 10 gig ports. Uh, and the number of drives are, um, again, um, are different in each chassis. One thing is common between all of our appliances, as you see, uh, we have uh, something called expansion units. What it basically is, um, you, the base unit comes in as, for example, in the case of the Voyager or Voyager TSC, comes in as a completely redundant active active IP SAN. But when you want to go beyond, for example, 16 drives, all you need to do add is the expansion unit, which the cost and price of this expansion unit is a fraction of the base unit. So that is one of the advantages of our appliances have, that uh, you don't have to pay twice the price of the base unit to get twice the number of drives. So just keep that in mind. Um, now getting into the virtualized environment. This is, um, this is actually a traditional corporate environment then you don't have virtualization. You have different servers. Each one of them has its own purpose. You have a file server, Exchange, or SQL. And for example, you have a SAN. Could be a IP SAN or a fiber channel. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, and then you have a switch that connects all of these guys, and you have your clients connected to the servers. In this case, uh, you split your SAN or uh, you carve up your SAN and give different volumes to different servers. When you go to the virtualized environment, the SAN is still the same, but rather than having multiple servers, you, you have only one box, and I call, I mean, since we are using VMware I mean, uh, as an example, I say, so you have a VMware server, you carve up your storage, and you, for example, split it up to three small VM, uh, three small volumes that you give it to this VMware server and you load up your server's OSs in those. So you have three basically virtual machines and these three are acting as these three servers. Basically. And then if you wanted more data, then you split up your SAN into smaller volumes and give those the, uh, volumes back to the VMware server and use those as drive data, data drives connected to those servers. And uh, so that's basically uh, it's where um, uh, VMware um, uh, or a virtualized environment buys you. And uh, so what do you get from a uh, virtualized environment? So if you think about it, for example, you have six servers in here, and you have a storage. So you have a total of seven boxes and 15 new rack space. I kind of uh, estimated the power usage for this thing is about 52 amp. And you have eight different uh, GUI or uh, user interface to deal with all of them. What do you, uh, when you go to a virtualized environment, you can combine everything into basically two boxes. You have one box that has your um, VMware server running or uh, virtualized uh, uh, environment running. And then you still need another box to have uh, the storage that is connected to that VMware server to provide you with a uh, place for your VM. But you end up with two boxes, and you save up about 10 new rack space. You save up so much on the power and the ease of management. Rather than managing eight different GUI, you 
simply go to the VMware uh, GUI and manage all of your servers from there. So it simplifies everything, uh, uh, reduces your rack space, and reduces your power usage. So um, that's just a general environment. So I'm going to talk about a little bit about the, one of the products that we have. It's called Stonefly SDN. Stonefly SDM uh, is a software-only product that we have. Uh, what it does is you can load the software on a virtual machine inside the VMware or any um, inside the VMware, basically. And then with that, you end up with a IP SAN inside the VM. So uh, it's you basically create the IP SAN inside the virtual machine. So, if, uh, for example, you have four servers and two storage, you can combine all of those. You have four little virtual machines that have your servers, and then you have two SCDNs that are your IP SAN. So, again, you go from 18U to 8U. So, that's how you use the SCDN. Uh, another usage of the SCDN, which is our software product, is you can use it for uh, mirroring your primary IP SAN to a SCDM as for backup or disaster recovery. And you can use either synchronous or asynchronous mirroring. And that depends on if you're running locally or if you're running between cities. If you're running between cities, you use a async mirroring. Okay, here's a question for you. OK. OK. Uh, you're discussing VMware. Is this applicable for Hyper-V or Zen VMs as well? 